one bait with a fly net. I am. <laughs> I don't care if I look ridiculous. I cannot do one full flew up my nose and that was the end of it. So we ended up here guys, Coronation Beach. Um, so it's about 50 k's north of Geraldton and uh, probably wasn't the best choice of a beach camp because it's known for its kite surfing and windsurfing. <laughs> yes. So that says windy doesn't it? But the reason we came here is we kept checking the uh, windy app and it said it was going to be calm today. And it is semi, there is not a single windsurfer or kite surfer out there so that says there's not enough wind for them. And it looks pretty like nice and calm. It is, it's good. The water, like, it's quite nice. Yeah the water looks beautiful here so look we're going to make the most of it, have a beach day while we can even though there's a million flies. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a pretty nice place here. I'll give you a little shot from um, up top. There's a little lookout up there and it's quite beautiful here. But um, let's get in the water. But uh, we thought all the whales were gone. Um, somebody, gone, gone. Yeah, somebody even told us all the whales were gone. Yeah, so that, I don't know, is that a straggler? It must be. <laughs> it's got lost. It's gone the wrong way, maybe. Oh, it's lonesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But um, yeah, so the wind died down today. It wasn't too bad. Uh, but this spot would be magic if it was um, really nice weather. Oh, yeah. And I could see this packing out. Uh, 15 bucks a night per person, kids under 16 free. It's a little bit overgrown and stuff, but there's heaps of bins, heaps of toilets. Uh, and on Saturdays and Sundays, they do a food truck here. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good setup. Yeah. So um, if it was good weather next time around, I'd, I'd come back here. <laughs> if it was good weather. Yeah. So if you could tell us what that good weather <laughs> is. <laughs> it's obviously not now. Yeah, it is. We're trying to plan kind of when we're going to come back yeah. to WA. We're trying to plan, but not trying to plan because we don't want to plan, but we want to plan. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get your head around that? Um, no, just because especially that southwest corner, it's getting quite cold now. Yeah. Um, so we're a bit worried we're going to not see it at the good time. For so, re reference, it's mid-October right now. Yeah. So if you can let us know when is the best time to do that southwest corner, because uh, obviously up the top it's kind of May, June, July, August-ish. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, let us know. We'll come back. <laughs> Here we go, we're in Geraldton, the uh, first big place we've been in in quite some time now, eh? Yeah, it's quite a built up town, quite busy. Uh, so it's gonna be... <laughs> going to be a little bit of an adjustment I think. Yeah but great because shops. Oh my god Kmart. Kmart you're ah! going to go silly at it. <laughs> but um, good food joints here. We've already got heaps of recommendations from people of uh, very unhealthy but delicious food. Uh, luckily though we don't have to pay for accommodation. We're staying with uh, good friends of ours mm -hmm. and um, yeah so we're not going to show you where we are obviously for privacy reasons but gives us a good base. It's right in town and uh, we can explore the area. Righto guys, we've come out to, I've already forgotten the name of it. Granoff Historic Historical Settlement. settlement. Uh, so this is the old township essentially that started before Geraldton. I'm making this up as I go. Uh, but it is 1860, I do know that. And uh, <laughs> this isn't just a creep following us, this is Stacey. Um, we're staying with her. 
the ghost of our past. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we've already walked into a couple of buildings here and uh, Aaron and Bella are getting the absolute heebie-jeebies. Oh, there's so. some serious vibes going on. Yep, and I'm getting nothing. <laughs> anyway, it's a cool little place. Um, they've kept them, what's the word, in good order. And uh, yeah, some really good history around here, so we'll go check it all out. WA, windy always. How do you know? <laughs> Trees grow like this. <laughs> so that's grown on its side like that because it just apparently blasts through this galley here. Just and there's wind heaps of all the time, yeah. yeah. All, and like all the trees can't even go like that. Yeah. So one of the most exciting things about getting here to Geraldton <laughs> <laughs> was all our posts. <laughs> Honestly, it was like Christmas. Um, Oh, we'll put a picture in. I took a photo of it. It was like we were going into all these presents under a Christmas tree. Yeah, we got a bit excited knowing <laughs> we had an address to send things to. Yeah, anyone who's on the road and tries to get stuff posted ahead of them to post offices, uh, you can do it and it works quite well. But knowing we had a fixed address to come to, we went a little bit silly. <laughs> uh, now, come inside and I'm going to show you the most important delivery that we got. All right, can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know we're made to a seeker brewery. Um, it's been a while since we've had any of their beer because we've needed a fixed address to get it sent to. Let's have a look at the beers that they've sent us this time. We've got a heap of beers. This is awesome. Good Karma Organic Nipa. Ooh, I like the can. Yeah, how cool do they look? Twilight West awesome. Coast IPA. Uh, Maxi Small. So that is their half a percent beer. Little Hazy. Oh, that's their three and a half percent hazy. Um, we love hazy beers, so keen as to try that one. Now, I reckon you're gonna like this one, Erin. Oh, okay. Cherry Cola Sour. Ooh. That sounds exciting. And then we've got two four packs of their Rad Pale Ale. So that's their one of their main beers. Uh, really easy drinker. So, how awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, so we're gonna try these Seeker beers. Now, you've met this creep already, Stacey. <laughs> This is the creep's husband, Jeremy. <laughs> anyway, hey, we're going to try some of these seekers. We're just going to share them around. Um, we've had most of them, but I'm excited to try those new ones. So uh, we won't bore you going through all the tasting notes. I'll just chuck on a bit of a time lapse. And uh, yeah, we'll get stuck into these beers. Today, donuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, another cracking day in Geraldton, and uh, we got told about a place called Beach Barrel uh, down in the near the foreshore at Geraldton, and apparently they do the most insane donuts. So 
We're gonna go have a healthy breakfast. We all know how we love donuts. <laughs> Into them. <laughs> How good do they look? I'm getting angry. What are they? Lemon meringue. Oh no, lemon curd. This is like chocolate or something. This is vanilla custard in there and uh, caramel. If you go down there on the weekends, make sure you get in early because they make a certain amount, just like Kenilworth actually. Mm. And uh, and once they're gone, they're gone. So there wasn't much left when we went. Yeah, we would have got more actually. Mm. <laughs> Which sounds crazy because that's so much sugar. Jez is going back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get more. <laughs> but um, we come down here to the uh, pump track. So once again, towns like this have a great little pump track and a, uh, a dirt track as well. So the kids are just going to have a ride around. All right, guys, we've got an absolutely cracking day in Geraldton. So we've borrowed some bikes. We're getting out and we're doing a bit of a bike ride uh, slash pub crawl around Geraldton. Um, Stace and Jez are going to show us around, show us a few of the uh, nice spots in town. And first stop is going to be Jaffle Shack for a bit of brekkie. Heard this place is real good. How nice is this? <laughs> oh, they look good. Show us a wheelie. <laughs> so this is Sour Rock. We'll see if we can uh, spot a couple of them, eh? Can you see some sales kids? Yeah. Two. Two? So we come up here to the HMAS, uh, HMAS, HMAS. <laughs> Sydney uh, <laughs> Memorial Lookout. Now they did this here for the 645 lives that were lost out at sea. We learned all about it today in, uh, the, in museum. the museum. So yeah, it's a pretty full on story. But the, the crazier thing is that statue of the lady over there. Uh, they did, they put that statue up before they found the actual shipwrecks. And it turns out she's actually looking in the right direction, exactly where the ship is, which is crazy because she's meant to be the uh, like the wife of one of the sailors. Yeah, she's called the waiting lady or the lady in waiting. Yeah. That's what it is. Anyway, we're gonna stay up here and just watch the sunset. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, have it a few is. drinks. 